Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You may remember Mr. Liam, Mr. Lee Ham. Coming back for a second kill. <laughs> As kill, I should. Kill Bill V2. This <laughs> is what we're gonna label this. <laughs> and I'll drink to that. As you can tell, we've had a few drinks tonight. Which, as the title suggests, drunk tarot reading. I'm a very aware, don't correct me in the comments, I'm aware it's tarot. I just find it entertaining to say, Miss Tarot said this. We consult Miss Tarot. Mm hmm. Miss Which we actually use. We consulted our great higher power to choose the wine that we are drinking now. That's right, she did. She chose this wine specifically for us, this Tempranillo. Bless her. Blessed be, Miss Tarot. Blessed be. This intro is a lot harder drunk. Um, today <laughs> we are going to be doing an entertaining little shtick for you. We are going to consult the cards and as promised in the last video. We will be using the movie tarot deck. Yes, to read myself to Phil, to read Miss Liam to Phil. Miss Liam, Cleam, Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Lee Ham, Skinny Leg Ham, all of the aliases. No, be courtesy of Becky for coming up with that. She called me skinny leg ham once. Shout out to Becky. That is quality content. You can follow her on Becky.Marina on Instagram. Oh my god. Is my plus one doing a plus one shout out? Appreciated. This is how much we appreciate our people. You never forget your day ones. But yeah, so origin story of this. So apparently tarot, it has to be gifted to you. And it was funny. I was in a bookstore with my friend and then I'm not really going to get into like all the core details as to why it happened. But like something like resonated with me with this deck. It had to do with Kill Bill because when you remember, like you brought it up. And Kill Bill is my favorite. Which is funny because yeah, Kill Bill. And then yeah, like Kill Bill is like, this is like movie tarot. And so that was the front character on the deck. Like as I made eye contact with it when my friend brought Black it up. Mamba. And then I was going to buy it. And then my friend was like, no, no, like it has to be gifted to you or else it's not gonna work because that's a myth in tarot and then so anyway have it now i use it a lot it does turn out to be pretty accurate remember the reading <laughs> i did he did a love reading for me and um, it was great and i did one for me and that turned out pretty well and what was funny because like the same reading i did saw it on tiktok what are the you odds? know that's a reliable source tiktok tarot yeah it's a better reliable source than australian journalism so Boycott the media as per Friendly Geordies. Yeah, shout out to Friendly Geordies for like, you know, opening our eyes that were already opened, but... Yes. Yeah. The propaganda model, break it sis. So, are you ready to, first of all, have a bit of a throat chakra cleanse, throat. if you will? I'm gonna cleanse my throat chakras with a naked. And I will too, because it's gonna be dramatic. dragon okay. and so we are gonna get into it so we are going to change this film setup drunkenly for your viewing pleasure so you're we welcome can, yeah oh bestie oh my god yes yes this needs to happen <laughs> you hold on to the tarot deck and take two snap because we're bad bitches can you move me out of- Simoleous, I'm sorry, it's set no, a frame. I'm... Leo Rising Ding. Leo Rising Ting. So what we're gonna do is Miss Tarot is going to read my fortune. Oh, she gonna read my fortune? What is she gonna do? This is the sassy. <laughs> Classy. Spirit, higher self, guidance, higher consciousness. I'm not even gonna apologize for being drunk, but please be here for the reading. Please guide. Intuition, you were never off, you were never askew. What does Laura need to know in this given moment? What does she need to know? What do I need An to know? An all-knowing, powerful being. What is that enough? A card flew out. Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins. What does that mean, spiritual guide? Queen of Coins. <laughs> Let me just have a drink. So this bitch, stability. And we need to break it down. So I obviously- I have stability. Look at me holding this wine up like a legend. It's basically signifying who you are. 
I'm stable. Did you not see how she just fucking propelled herself out of the deck? She did. I she don't was know like you ninja Sadu. She was <laughs> instant replay. So Queen, like Queen of Coins, is like not only maternal figure, but it's like Queen of Coins, like you have it sorted out. And this is oh my god, today I'm running through your fellas house like a Tomb Raider. And this is literally Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider. And I am ready to run through your so man's you house like a Tomb Raider. Have all your ducks in a row. You have achieved quite a lot so far. I have. A nurturing soul. I am. Okay. And anyway, I think I'm just gonna still shuffle like a little more because I think you know because just that bitch fell out. Like I'm just gonna like. She flew out. Girl, she flew like that bitch. Oh my Is God. she with Qantas? Do she I look flew. like this? Because if so, I'm pleased. The next one, the lovers. I feel like this is gonna have a deep, dark connotation that is not leading toward romance in my life. <laughs> Which is Brokeback Mountain, so you're fucking lesbian, bitch. Some you don't tell me. No, but le like lovers obviously symbolize a huge choice. A huge choice. <laughs> Continue. This is a very fortunate card. It means like basically connotation is the choices you make, regardless of how great they feel at the time. Consequences you're gonna have to live with. But Start also, this life. could also mean, especially paired with this, I'm thinking, it's like, because you know, when you read Tarot, you're gonna like interpret like all of them, so I'm like, you know, you know, I was a queen of coins, so. I think it's just like, you have a big choice, but what is that choice? Fucking swords, what is with me? Eight of swords. swords! You know how we drew that earlier? Damn, Murphy's? Oh. It could be deception because on the original like meaning of it, it's like, do we just show you? Please. Beach. I'm we need the authentic reading. We need to know the cards, and we need a photo of of the cards. How many cards? But actually, this is hold? different than I thought. I'm basically tied up against eight swords, <laughs> blindfolded, near death. So obviously, like it's a woman. She like still, but with that, she has a blindfold on. But what's funny is like the swords are around her, so you're kind of like caged in. So it's just you're already have you're already on your own path. That's what the Queen of Coins is telling you. Yeah, that you're a fucking bad bitch. Like you came out to set what you need to do. Yeah, you care about your family a lot, and you do all this shit. You mind, but you have this choice whether that be meta that be like you know romantically or not it's like you gotta live with it but it's like i feel like you're boxing yourself in so i have the option to be in a romantic relationship but i'm boxing myself in based on my professional endeavors or like not even lovers because like the lovers like literally represents like you know your desires and stuff like that it doesn't like specifically mean lovers. The same way like the devil in the deck doesn't mean like, oh my god, that's the actual devil. Or death doesn't mean actual death. Well, I either intend to be traveling the world rich or settle <laughs> down as a wife and mother. Potentially both. Big queen of coins <laughs> energy. Here we go. Like meaning, the lovers represents relationships and choices. Its appearance and spread indicates some decision about an existent relationship, a temptation of the heart, or the choice of business partners. Often an aspect of the crone's life will have to be sacrificed. But I'm just gonna go on Biddy Tower. Like, I think I love that bitch. Like, she's such a baddie. The dictionary of Tower, if you're all wondering. Well, I need to be educated because I don't know the world of Tower, but I'm about to read this man to filth. With the I cards. actually can't wait. In its purest, yeah, conscious connections and meaningful relationships. Yeah, and also that, like, it could, like, the lover's card represents getting clear about your values and your beliefs. But yeah, definitely because, like, knowing you with, like, the, ooh, like, the, ooh, from what I know about the whole situation, yeah, definitely. And it's, like, very, very much, like, as the image we inserted earlier, very, like, oh, like, it's just, like, there's all this shit around you that's just... Caging me in. Yeah. Interesting. And yeah, make, maybe just like one more just to clarify. All right, a clarification card. I love card. a good clarification card. He does, he does. Oh, okay, I have a lot of... We're not, we're what not. is... That was a typo. I just saw all them and I was like... <gasps> I'm a star. And also, you I'm have two... Star. 
Also, because we have two major arcana cards. What does arcana mean? So major arcana are like the big ones. So obviously, you know how these are queen of coins, eight of swords? They have to do with like coins, swords, wands, or cups. And so the star, obviously, so the lovers, like everything, so you know, anything to do with like swords, coins, cups, or wands, they're minor arcana. Okay. Major arcana are huge like life events, things Ooh. to do with that. And so they're like the head honcho of the deck. So I and have so the star is two like, major arcana. Yeah, and all I'm going to say is the star means like follow like your purpose, follow it. And it's kind of just like no matter like you need to understand like your journey, it may be tough or whatever. But it's just how do I like interpret this with all these other cards? I'm just like, you know, like you don't understand it all now, but it will be all apparent soon. Okay. That's probably what I'm getting from that. Okay. But yeah, like major arcana, it's basically like, you know, minor arcana is like, you know, all the queen of coins or in like the normal decks, pentacles. I got yeah. pentacles. And just pentacles, to confirm, yeah. I am just going to get the star. Yeah, honestly, with the star card, anything is possible. You know, your heart is full of hope and your soul is being lifted to the highest of highs as you realize that your dreams really can come true. Period. My dreams can come true with or without a man in my life. But yeah, and it's just like, trust the process and it's like, your dreams are possible. It's just, yeah. What my dreams are, you'll never know. Oh, we, we fucking know. I yeah. just explained. Not even I know. Yeah, and you know, some of us, you know, have a neurological disorder that like, affects memory. I mean, not relatable content, definitely. Wait, you did just say you want to be like sailing around the world on a yacht and shit? <laughs> yep, yeah, wait a damn minute. It just clicked. But yeah. Mm. Sailing, flying. I do like yachts. I do like planes. Either or would be fine. Uh, but I'd also settle for like a little house on the prairie with like a really nice, respectable, manly man. But I would say all of this is a very good reading. Like very, it's not too chaotic. Unlike my love reading you did yeah, the last Mr. one I did. My Mr. X. He who shall not be named for privacy. And you know what? He's trash. You know, Tara is so much fun. It is. Okay, my turn. So I draw three and then a bonus. Oh my god, Liam. Okay, this is a lot of cards to... What I would do, like, in my early days, I'd put, like, three, de th put it into three piles, shuffle them individually, and then shuffle them all together. That's a lot of cards. Because they are big. It's a big card. It's too big. It's too big for my little hands. My little dainty woman Can I have a sip of your wine? <laughs> yes. Sharing is caring. It also gives you pulled the big good luck. I did. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. We still have the blue lagoon. God, that makes me nervous. On the white fur. Faux fur. Big roll get me all them pretty pert furs. Cause my pussy getting cold. When he hit it, he say burr. He say pur 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 pur. I'm a, I'm a marry her. And he polite with that purr. Lucky strum in his good turn. Yeah, it's good me. Turn. I am Minaj. I am Nicki Minaj. And if you want it, then you it. And if you want it, then you want The Tanot! The Tanot! Cannot. I'm a grade A, uh, higher me casino level shuffler. Also, like, tap the thing with your. Like, knock on it. Yep, yeah, good. I go to knock, and you're like, knock on it. Yes. Knock knock, who's there? Your fucking future bitch, are you Miss ready? Miss Tarot. But it's reading off current energies, that's all it is. Fake drop. Also, I think with that, it's more of a like, with the reading that I did for you, yeah, it could do with like a love interest, or it could be like, because the star is there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Very interesting. Are you ready for me to read your future though? Fuck yeah. Current energies, like what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. That is the four of cards folks. Four of coins or pentacles. What does this mean? I think originally on the deck it has this guy and he's like holding his coin and it has like things like a greedy have. bitch. So like these are my coins. Like holding on to something, I'd say. Cause like I really liked it. Cause like what you do is like you look at this, you see what you get from it, and obviously on this it does say like put a bit more. Oh yeah, wait, so <gasps> what did you think of me? <gasps> The wine almost went. Okay, so this is the original picture. I'll show you the original pic. Oh, 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 oh. So this is this is the original. But I say it. So we can put that in the bin. He's into pentagrams, folks. He's obsessed. Four is a good number, but like it's obviously like he's holding on to something his, vigorously. He's like, and then when I looked into it, it was very like keywords, saving money, security, conservatism, scarcity, control, and it says like. 
relation what's your relationship with money like um investing your money wisely while still enjoying your daily life or are you desperately clinging to every coin afraid to spend your money for fear that you could not the, the, the that's the thing like i spend my money before i even know it's there like you bitch <laughs> So it's kind of, I think what it says is like, I need to be more stable. Like that's it. As you soon as you drew that card. Frugal. Yeah, that's it. I was like, fucking maybe like I really need a job. Like I really should like branch out. <sighs> Isn't that funny? Well, then I just talking. I was like, I really need a job today. Yeah. yeah. So he got to my house and he was like, I think I should get a job. I was like, you think so? I think it's also time for the next card. Are you ready? If this isn't true, I'm going to show the people before I show you. Yeah. Are you sure it's in the thing? The hermit. Oh. I have to do some deep introspection and I have to like kind of look within myself. I read that as he is a hermit crab, it's the true. introverted nature. It's true though. It sure is. Do you know, he almost didn't come to visit me. He was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I should, don't know if I can, don't know if I will. And I was like. But like in the spiritual sense, it does talk about like going within yourself to like understand and like vibe and be like, what is like your true meaning? Like a vibe within yourself. And that's a major arcana, so we have to drink. It's a major arcana. You have to take a sip. Take a sip for every and major arcana. And save a sip for me as well, because it's a major arcana. Major arcana. It's a major arcana, what you're talking about. I say nada. Yes, I was searching introspection, being alone, inner guidance. So it's like, kind of like, yeah, need to seek within. That's definitely me. I agree. He's a beautiful man that has some soul searching to do. Exactly. You may think you're so far in your spiritual journey, but there's still so much to accomplish. There's so much more to explore. It's so disappointing. Do I pull from the top or do I just pull randomly? You can pull randomly. I feel like pulling randomly. That's what my if chakra. That's the vibe. My chakra. The throat chakra because we cleared it. A shirt. We did the that. The shirt chakra. The shirt chakra. Chakra. The chakra. Chakra. Get 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 on. Major arcana, I think. But wise as fuck. What is the mean? The the the. Hierophant, Hierophant? He's like king of the hill. So I feel is that like the Don? The Don? What do you mean? From the Godfather? No. Who is that? He's not from the Godfather because there's already someone from the Godfather. Who is Emperor. this then? Who is this motherfucker? It has to do with spiritual, which is so funny because this, the Hermit, has to do with spirituality. It's like, mm. So we have the Four of Coins, the Hermit, and the Hierophant. Which means this is like, you know. He looks up himself. He look, He's on a throne. I know, like if we look at the image, like yeah, and he's searching the message to understand what it is. Like, I have to look within myself to be like, okay, like you're frugal with money. Like, why do you want more money? Obviously it's because I want to support my lavish lifestyle, you know? Sugar daddy supply within. And then yeah, the hero friend, which is like king of like anything, like, you know, like wise period up there. But with these, like, I just need to like, look up a suitable. Trend. You know what? We're just gonna look at the book. And you know because, what? Because, you know what? It came with a book. It and came. some of us are drunk. And some of us don't know. All of us are drunk, and he knows more than I do, as I have. But the worst part is, like, don't trying come to for me. interpret it with all of them is hard. Ugh. From Scarface. Wait, you said the Godfather. No, my Hierophant. Here we go. I did say the Godfather. I was right on the record. No, actually, Scarface is up here, the Emperor, and then he's from. I said Paul Godfather. And... Oh, in the Godfather. Oh my God. I said the Godfather, not Scarface. Working toward on the record. Working toward the greater good means holding your head up high. Keywords: the Pope, tradition, convention, ritual, symbolism, ceremony. Observe religion. legal and social protocols. This man studies law. You observe law. Wait, where'd you get that? Observe legal and social protocols and ethics. Work for a higher purpose, follow the straight and narrow. Well, the gay and narrow. Yeah, the gay and narrow. <laughs> that is actually really funny. I love that. See, I am a spiritual advisor as of now. Would you like a um, a bonus card? A yeah, clarifying card. Let's get this bitch done. Give me a book. I'll show the people. Yeah, show the people. Me, like, rifling through this. The is cup. it Ace of Cups? Nope. Nope. Is it Queen of Cups? It'll be like at the back. At the back. Blonde or fair woman? Fuck yeah. Period, bitch. Mature. Questionable. Honest. That's honest. Devoted. Eh. Faithful wife. 
good mother and friend. You are a good friend, and I think you'd make a good mother. Yeah, period. You'd be like, bitch, get but your- But a good father, Get though. your ass- No, you'd be like, bitch, get off the floor, stop crying. Would you not? Would I not? You would. Actions help a dream become real. Pleasure, happiness, service, and success. You're a wise visionary. So, Four of Cups, the Hermit, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Cups. Bestie. Now we need to do a reading for the so viewer. Four of Coins, the Hermit, the Hierophant. It's like, kind of just, especially how you pointed out. I was like, yeah, the law shit. I pointed it out. And so I it's am just spiritually yeah, awakened. Very interesting. So, uh, all up Four of Coins, something about like frugalness, money, material possessions, and I'm just like, mm, like, what are you really, like, investing into? That's kind of what it is. Like, what are you kind of, like, doing? What are you doing with God? And especially, like, holding on to shit. Like, what are you holding into? The Hermit is more of, like, the answers are inside of you. Go ahead and fucking find it. And then the Hierophant, bad bitch from the Godfather, as you pointed out. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know. That is the Godfather. It's the end goal. And then this is, like, the clarifying being, like, you know, such a blah, 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 blah. Ah, would you like to do the viewer reading? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, do because Miss Cleam is the spiritually awakened one. I'm just the filler. Not maybe. No. I'm like Miss Cleo. Like, mm, let me tell you your fortune. Mm. Although accurate. Although accurate. On the record. It's on the record. Accurate. It's on the record. It's literally there that like period record. That was really funny. Like you pulled out like really good like interlink like, related I, cards. I feel honored. I feel like I am on my spiritual journey. No, but when you said like you were like you understood tarot a bit and then you're like what this tells me and I was like bitch. What a baddie. What a baddie. She a bad bitch. And now we're gonna do a bonus reading. So if you happen to find this out, this could be for one of you. This or could three. be. I mean, absolutely. Insert Gia gun. Absolutely. I think Japan, no, that came out like, like, as I saw that before. That's funny. And the Wheel of Fortune, that's really funny. Right. Are they two of the, um, major Arcanas, yeah. Arcanis. Miss Arcanis. Not Arachnids. But what I get from those two energies, so yeah, we do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man. So the Wheel of Fortune is like, especially in that context, it's great. But the Hanged Man. You're gonna die. Like, no sacrifice. And it's like, something suspended. And it's just, bitch. What are you hanging on to? What are you suspended from? Period. Think about it. Or it's like, yeah, like Wheel of Fortune with the Hanged Man. It's Ooh, like, I should show the people. Decision. So far, these are your two cards. Ma'am, sir, they, them. Period, boo. And the other one, hermit. No. Oh my god, I don't believe it. You're a hermit. Thank god for the next card. Two of cups, very fortunate. Someone's gonna get into with someone, like, romantically, eh, which is Better great. Better luck than we have. <laughs> Period, boo. The viewers are getting lucky, but we ain't. Period. But like, yeah, like a hanged man. It even has the love hearts on it, how cute! Because the original one is like two people like being like, look at us and in love with me and like, yeah, like look at Aww. us. You, the viewer, have a delight coming to you if you don't already have the delight. Afternoon delight! Afternoon delight! Yeah, see the hangman. Represented by Bjork, that Bjork. baddie. Yeah, Bjork, that baddie that has all the, the albums. I know, I'm cultured. And it's like, in Dancer in the Dark, delay, sacrifices, reversals, decisions on hold, review, readjustment, abandonment, rejection, betrayal, falseness, trials, restrained or bound, caution, being in limbo, temporarily unable to go forward. Life lesson, let go, trying to accelerate along an incorrect path, maybe a fruitful distraction. But the hangman can see the situation in a totally different way and stop when the way forward is unclear, a temporary suspension or release if you're approaching a dead end know when it makes sense to surrender. Wow. And especially how it's like, you know, it is in your favor. That's definitely what it's saying. The odds are ever in your favor, darling. Because you know, the Wheel of Fortune is represented like that, that fucking bitch from Back to the Future who's like, oh my God, we have to go back. Like obviously he's like, has a thing up and he's like, eh, I can do it. But it's just like, you know, the best way to go about that is to just look at it from a different perspective, especially because it's like up down, upside down. She's a baddie, she doesn't give a fuck. She's like, I'm upside down, I'm hanging, I know what's up, like it is. So basically it's like- Hanging, chilling. Huge shit that's happening. And you may not see it in a good way, but it is. 
And then, obviously, the Two of Cups, yes. it must have to do with like a relationship or something. A divine connection, one would say. And what? the Hermit, look within yourself, period. The same thing I got for me. Well, I think that that absolutely concludes our Miss Tarot reading of the Eve. Would you say? I would say it. You would say it, I, I would, would say it, we would We say both it. say it. So from us to you, thank you so much for, for joining us on this divine intervention. If you haven't already, click that like and subscribe button below. Check out Miss Cleham on his, <laughs> Miss on his, on his social medias. Links will be in the description box. And also, below. just in case you don't check the description box, it's Liam Langfield on Instagram, L I A M L A N G F I E L D. And then on TikTok, it is Apophis Rising, which is A P O P H I S R I S I N G. You're welcome. As for the rest of this, we're a mess. We're a mess. We're drunk. We need to go to bed. Lots of love. Blessed be. Blessed be, loves. And we'll see you next, well, I will see you next Monday. Bye, guys. And you'll see me on any given Monday. We haven't decided yet. To be continued. Doo-doo-doo.